Okay. <laughs> now, the next speaker, let me introduce you, uh, Alison Ollana. Hi, Alison. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Denny. <laughs> Are you enjoying? Yes, I'm enjoying it. From which time zone are you presenting now? Here it is uh, UT UTC minus four. It's from Bolivia? Bolivia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Latin America. Yes. Representing here. Okay, uh, Alison, now we will be talking uh, about, let me check, Alison, I forgot. Okay, basic image processing with artificial uh, artificial vision. Sorry for my vision. I can't see <laughs> the name of your talk. <laughs> okay, let me introduce Alison. Okay, I will let you present your talk and... Yeah, see you in a couple of minutes with your questions. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Okay, so uh, to everyone, I'm, as, as, as Denis said, I'm going to present you the basic image processing and one of the things that are important for artificial vision. So uh, I'm presenting myself first. Uh, I'm Alison Oriana Rios. I'm from Bolivia. Actually, um, <laughs> I'm a Bolivian software developer, computer engineer uh, from uh, Bolivia too. Master in design and production and multimedia production. Uh, I did some of data science and actually uh, currently I'm the lead organizer for ORP by Ladies Cochabamba. So here we come with, uh, with artificial vision that it's a field that probably it can be related to uh, artificial intelligence. So it's almost uh, from that field. Well, it's from that field. And it allows us to obtain that visual information and to take actions based on that information. So our goal for this image processing is to improve the quality of images that uh, we can use later for uh, interpret some interpretations, some analysis, and mm, probably much more. So how does it work? And we can say that we need a bunch, a lot of data to make some things, and we need to organize that information to get that information in. Uh, to transform it, to filter it, to make that recognition on images. So we need two technologies for that. And one of it's, uh, it's deep learning called DL and a convolutional neuro neuro neural network, sorry, that it's called CNN. So with the first one, what we does, uh, well, how does it work? With the first one, it's uh, based on that. Uh, machine learning uses some algorithmic processes, models, to learn the vision um, that the computer has, the visual data. So ML, uh, ML, machine learning, uses these models that allows a computer to teach itself and uh, train some, that some of that information to use the context of the visual data and uh, with that information we can use to feed um, a model to use more information, more visual information and uh, the computer then will use that information to different, to, to make a difference between which image we need and which kind of image we, we don't need. To, to use. So uh, the other hand, we have the CNN that helps that uh, machine learning or deep learning model to be the images and to perform those convolutions to filter the image uh, between, well, many filters. And with that, we can have some predictions about one image or uh, a bunch of images. 
And with that information, uh, that filtering, we can have the mathematical formulas, uh, equations, and functions to predict some some uh, what we need to obtain. That's uh, that allows us to use that images to give some more in and interesting information. So, what are the objectives of this image processing? Uh, first, we need to improve the quality of the images for using them later. And some of these objectives are almost uh, for the same, uh, yeah, for the same, same object, objective. First, we can remove the effects uh, like the image that is right on the, <laughs> on the right. So we have an image that is incomplete and we can try to understand what is the image, uh, what does it mean if it's a uh, architectural part or if it's only, uh, I don't know, just a, a little piece, this one. And once we have that information, we can try to add information or in, in, the, in the fact, um, by default, subtract some information. So that's why we need, uh, that's why the other objective is remove problems or improve properties. The properties can be like uh, that image shows us uh, that shape and we need to create some shape um, to be almost the same as the first one. So we can try to complete it. And the other one is with that <laughs> to add information. So. This kind of objectives uh, let us to understand a picture, a photograph, a video that's probably incomplete. Okay, so some of the common uses for this uh, are the identification of the images, detection, recognition, restoration, or movement. And the first one, like identifying some like words. When you say when you see an image, you can say that it's um, a number or it's a letter. Detection to once you have that image, that letter or that number, you can know what's going on. Like it's a phrase, it's um, I don't know a sign or something like that. That recognition with the same. Um, we can try to recognize uh, colors of one picture or shapes or characters uh, as it's almost the same. You uh, Restoration, like the last example. And the last one is movement, like uh, a video, which is a sequence of images. So. Yeah, we can try to use in many topics as as we as we want. Some of the considerations to to use the images for this recognition are the stream, the projection uh, information and features that has uh, that an image has. For the first one, the projection, which is uh, you can see an image from many. Uh, angles and what it seems to be as an, a circle could be from another side, a rectangle or somewhere somewhere like that. Some, somehow <laughs> it can change. About the information, we can try to understand that if we took a picture, we can capture many things such as um, light or darkness or uh, incomplete images, and that leads us to to make some mistakes. Some some of the biggest mistakes can be like uh, we have an image, but it's not clear enough, so we cannot understand if, for example, in the image <laughs> down, uh, you can say that it's a dog, or if it's a cupcake, 
probably. <laughs> so that kind of information is really important to to analyze after <laughs> we we capture it. Another one are the features, for example, the colors that an image has, and we can uh, try to make them the computer understand what we see, and that happens by the pixels of an image. So a pixel can be can recognize if that pix if yeah if that pixel has some information like it has this quantity of red or this quantity of green or blue, and it can show us what's the real answer. But as always, the Mac, the computers can't have the last answer. Uh, this this image, the last one, uh, the right is uh, a, a good example of what uh, the human brain or human eyes can confuse some colors. Uh, it was a great, great discussion about if the dress is white with gold or if that image has blue and, and black. So with this kind of information, we can try to understand if it has more blue, more, more green, more red, that uh, probably that dress is only, I don't know, maybe white and, and gold for the machine. But maybe it's the light that affects it. Uh, affects it. So there, with these considerations, I'm going to show you some demonstration about what we can do at the basic stage of, of what we need to understand of processing um, images. And here we have this one. First is this image that is the original one of pajamas. Pajamas. Here uh, we change the color. We made it uh, negative. Here we are changing uh, the bright, the, the the light. Sorry. And here we show it uh, with more darkness. And here we are changing the. Uh, we are flipping it. And how does it work? We are using the pixels to make that change. So if I put it again, <laughs> you can see that each of the pixels now we are we are um, going from one to one and we are changing some properties. And with that property, we can add some light some of the properties of uh, an image that is uh, light, uh, the, um, colors, in the case of the negative one. And in the other one, we are reversing it. We have a mathematical function that reverses all the pixels and it shows again everything. So that's how it works, at a simple way to show it. And I don't know, I really like how it changes <laughs> the colors and and yes, that's uh, it seems like too simple, probably, but it can help us to get information that probably it's more difficult to obtain from an image. What if we have a sign that it's upside down and we need to understand what is going on there? So we can just flip it and uh, recognize, I don't know, maybe the letters, the, the, the phrase that it has, or something like that. If we had an image that is too dark with uh, not enough light, we can um, uh, add more light. And that's how we can work with images, the, the first steps of working with images. Some of the applications, well, I think that are probably there are more. Actually, there are <laughs> there are more than I'm <laughs> that the ones I'm showing you now, right now. So, first on the industry, um, computer vision allows us to see what is happening on the environment, so we can recognize some patterns, some objects based on the uh, quantity of images that we have trained before. And here we have the, the first image on the left that it shows us that that recognizes the, the image 
is uh, showing us the recognition of a person and the helmet. The second one, we can use it like in, a, in a, an industry, uh, a line of production where it, it looks what are the problems, if it has problems, if it's uh, sealed or it, if, if it's complete, something like that. And then the third one, like in the, the last one here, it shows that it um, obtains the picture and it um, differences what, which kind of um, element it, it is, uh, material that is, if it's plastic or, or if it's um, metal and this kind of differenci differentiation, sorry, <laughs> it allows us to, to use even in robotics. Another example, it's about medicine, uh, and we can see on the right and in the left one, the first example, we can understand what's going on in micro, micro images with information such as color or shapes. Like in the second one, like uh, if it's um, melanoma or if it's just one Cool. <laughs> one, one little point of on the skin. I, I didn't remember the name, sorry. And in the third one, uh, we can sh see if that lung has a problem uh, by the shape or probably the color if it's another kind of examination. And yeah, we can, tr we can have these kind of applications with computer vision. Here's another one that it's about transportation. Um, I think it's not, well, in the first one, we can show how many cars are just to, to see if it's a car or if it's not. In this one, it's just showing which are cars. And the second one, it's the Google one, the Google car that uh, drives itself. And, uh, well, mm, I think it's, uh, an interesting job because uh, it it's kind of revolutionary about uh, the cars industry. The third one shows us that we can see and understand the distance that we have between each car or object, and that uh, helps with the the um, autom automatic driving self driving cars. Yes. And the last one is like uh, in the left, <laughs> in the left, uh, yeah, in the down, down left. And it's where this is working right now here in Bolivia. And we have uh, where the cars, I just forgot the name, sorry. Um, the cars, Black, well, well, I don't know how to say where the, the, the number of the cars are, the numbers and names of the cars, sorry, are. And if it's uh, on the center of the city and that uh, number is not allowed, it, it takes a picture and it gives the ticket of the the. <laughs> the money, the amount of money that they debt to the 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 country. I think that's uh, it's named photo multas, um, and yeah, it works really well. So we have this kind of interesting applications that are working right now that are really interesting that we can use. And here is a miscellaneous will that one <laughs> comes here. We can use it as uh, in security cameras to show if our house is okay, if it's not. The other one is to understand a picture that it's not well captured, I don't know. And the third one that I explained right before this one. So, I think that the conclusions that I can give to this artificial artificial vision or computer vision, it's the same. We can uh, understand many, many information from many topics. 
and it allows us to improve this performance in different processes. We see that industry, medicine, uh, sports, um, I don't know, it's just, we need, yeah, kind of imagination to, to create something interesting, really interesting. The other one is to reduce maintenance time and costs uh, because there's no human hand in that, in that. And yeah, it can be a great revolution in the industries. The other one is to interact with the environment, avoiding damages. Uh, we can use like a drone or other kind of cameras to capture this information without the human being present there. So yeah, it's, it's interesting that it reduced that impact and uh, provides useful tools for different areas. So as we see before, we can develop many tools much more. Uh, we can try to understand it more to develop it in a different way to fix some problems. And yeah, I think that's the, the most interesting part. We can use it any, in many ways. And I think that's, yeah, that's all. And thank you for being here and listening to <laughs> my talk. <laughs> thank you, Alison. It was a great talk. And now, let me show you something. No, no I'm not allowed to show you to present now. And uh, yeah, I hope so everybody is enjoying the conference and thank you for staying there. And we have a few more hours of talk. Now we will have an hour of break. Uh, I hope so you can come uh, to continue with the talks. A uh, joke. Do you have some announcement or something? Hello. Hey. Maybe so I'm hugging my pillow right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for the talk. I really like the pajamas logo. That is super fun. And um, yeah, so what is going to happen is that uh, so this is the end of this uh, stream. So for people who are new to pajamas, so what we will do is that we will take a break and then I uh, will continue with another live stream. So if you have the playlist that we have sent out before or you know you, you, you click and you have the playlist so it's the next one on the playlist or you can just like pay attention to our twitter and like uh, or you can find it from our channel that there's the next one that we're gonna continue streaming um and then you know uh, Alison actually is our first host for the next one so you will see more of her <laughs> Alison you um, need to share the the love of with us I really um, so like yeah. Oh, yeah. So sure. <laughs> uh, so this is all the links there. I just want to put it on the screen so people can, you know, if you haven't joined the Discord community, uh, join there. You can ask speaker question. You can chat with other people, make some new friends. And um, there's also the raffle. You see, it's like rolling there. Uh, that um, basically, uh, you know, you have to uh, get the ticket and then fill in the form, and then you get answer a very very simple question. There's no right or wrong. And then you may actually get a copy of the Deadly Simple Python book. Um, yay! So <laughs> please uh, do that. And um, yeah, I think I think that's basically this is the end uh, of the. I stay there. Even we only go to change link, but we are still remaining. Yeah. <laughs> so changing uh, soon so make sure you fill up your coffee i'm actually drinking tea instead because i don't have coffee i still have <laughs> oh that's <so> good <laughs> okay um so yeah like make sure you you know uh, if you want to be refreshed you can refresh yourself i've done it you know i've changed clothes as you can see i've refreshed myself and i have my tea ready i have all my meat nice snack ready uh, i have a, actually i have a mini tapas sitting in my room <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah i'm gonna have some of those and then uh, we will continue and then uh, we will have uh, alison hosting us and um yeah so there are actually more amazing talk uh, if you want to check out what talk is coming up 
so uh, the schedule is on our, uh, you know, our website, and then there's also other information there as well. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right. Emil, it was a pleasure to see you, Alison, here and share. Thank you. It's, yeah, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> yeah, no, no question in the chat, but okay. See you. See yeah. you. Uh, just see you. Take a break. Refresh a, li a little bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so.